All right, guys, what's going on today? Just catching everyone up on the progress that I'm making on the 59 Volkswagen single cab. Uh, can't recall last video if I had done this left side here, um, but I went ahead and did a couple passes at it. Um, you can start to see a little bit more blue. Um, we'll just start the passenger side, what the hell. Finally able to PB blast the uh, lock mechanisms and stuff and actually get the doors to stay closed. Uh, definitely gonna have to replace those, but uh, anywho, uh, dog leg doesn't look too bad, man. Uh, it's pretty solid. Of course, the top half is roached, and then uh, you can see that spot right there is pretty nasty. Um, hinges are good on both sides. I'm actually pretty uh, pretty surprised, but uh, haven't done the top yet. As you can tell, pretty rusty. Not gonna be much paint up there, so I haven't I haven't tackled that yet. Um, done a couple passes at the uh, two sections behind the uh, back, the rear uh, window. I haven't done the middle here yet, but I've done both sides. A couple passes. Um, red primer comes off pretty easy, but there's definitely areas that stick a little bit more uh, than the rest of it. I don't know if they sanded down the original paint when they shot that, and then they put that primer down, and then they went over on top with this darker blue here. Uh, and using the graffiti and the, even even the oven cleaner, it um, oh man, it just gets goopy. It's just a horrible mess. Uh, in the previous video, I said it was kind of a bitch. It just um, it just sucks. <laughs> it, it's just n no fun at all. Um, bottom here, you can see that there's a little bit of a little bit of rot there. Let's see if I can't get out of the light. Uh, pretty cancerous here. But, uh, I mean, shoot, it's been sitting since, uh, like, 88. I think 88 is what I read on the on the tag. Uh, swing over here, get out of the light. Uh, there's this nice little, uh-oh, right there, little booboo right there. And, of course, this giant mound of shitstorm of Bondo I haven't even uh, begin to rip off there. Uh, one thing I'd like to mention is the uh, wheel wells all around are nice which is very cool. Um, went ahead and did the uh, this corner here. Uh, it's pretty roached, the bottom of it's completely out. I don't know if I'll buy a tray when it comes time to be placing the battery or if uh, I'll just make something, get some metal from a friend of mine. See if I can't get that, that crease out of there. Uh, but yeah, you can see what's left of the tray hanging there and that's uh, pretty thick. I don't know if that's original or not, but. Uh, today, I haven't done much progression since the last video, but uh, I've been hesitant to do any audio. I don't like when people just ramble on in videos, but uh, I feel like it was missing something. So, uh, progression being made, I went ahead and used the oven cleaner as well as the graffiti on this whole corner here, uh, as well as the, uh, the rear deck lid here. I was hoping to be able to make out the dealer tag here, but uh, it's just gone. Um, a lot of paint still to be removed off of there. Um, just took a step back here. But uh, goodness, it's so uh, so blue compared to when I found it. Essentially, the rest of the truck looked like the uh, the bed here, just pink. Of course, I got some some issues here. Uh, got a nice little whammo here, uh, here as well. Uh, I'm not sure what I'll do about that. And there's a nice fill of Bondo right there. I don't know if I could hammer it out uh, or what exactly to do there. And I went ahead and cleaned this side as well. Yeah, it's actually nice to see this in the light a little bit. Video last night was just too dark, but I was excited at the progress I was making. Uh, the driver's side is actually cleaner than the passenger side, which is, I don't know, I found it kind of surprising. Uh, again, this dog leg is nice. Uh, up there, a little section, but all in all, it's solid. Bottom of the driver door in this far corner here is uh, pretty toasted. Uh, but again, the hinges are nice on the door itself. 
little character bump right there and a few spots you know you can see uh, I don't know if it was just a uh, uh, a mix of time or a mix of my method of removing the cover covering of paint uh, but I really try not to get too heavy on any spots you can see primer and stuff here and there but I think all in all that was just uh, partially the reason they had it sprayed maybe I'm just giving myself the benefit of the doubt but um, it's sitting on a 14 inch thing wheels uh, look for appropriate buyer one of these days to part those with uh, Let's see if I can't tackle down some uh, or hunt down some uh, bus wheels uh, Those tires there what we're sitting on and those are all bug rims A um, Little trimming back there for some larger wheels, but You know, it doesn't look too bad So I got going on the bus right now trying to uh, remove a half inch of Bondo on the front of that thing and gosh it was just atrocious but I sanded it down it's primed now probably just gonna get some color match paint and spray it don't want to pay for a respray it's too expensive and it's just not gonna look right there's too too much OG paint on it but yeah I'm extremely pleased it's coming out very nice blue is my favorite color but essentially that is what it looked like the entire vehicle and to bring this back out, it's just tremendous. It's awesome. So yeah, super pumped. Little by little. Oh, we got some guys doing gutters next door. Cool. My neighbors love me, by the way. <laughs> I'm getting kudos on the bus. I think it's just the, uh, you know, the whole hippie scene. But this thing, the lady across the street, uh, what'd she tell me? Good luck, I think what she said. She said it was ugly and good luck. But uh, pretty sure I'm just gonna leave it ratty, man. Do what I necessary on the battery tray. Uh, looking to drop a 15 or 1600 single port, maybe dual, but I'll probably stick with single port. Go into the, uh, I mean, shit, I don't even know what condition the tranny's in. Uh, I'm gonna leave it six volt. I mean, just. Use it as a work truck, firewood, Christmas trees, washer and dryer hauling off, whatever, man. Friends need a truck or something. Let's move in style. It'll be slow, but let's get there. Uh, frame, from what I can tell, is solid. Let's see if I can't get in there. Sorry, I'm moving around so much, guys. I mean, we're looking, looking pretty darn good. It's not too toasty. I mean, a little bit of the uh, tubing insulation still left. Some of the jack points are kind of tore up. The other side's got a little bend on there. You can see some of that right there along that lip. Uh, but all in all, it's good, man. Single chest, 59, single cab. Again, my plans put a uh, put some power on the back end of it, address the brakes, replace all brake lines, hard lines, you know. Uh, master cylinder. Uh, anyway, I'll just do all the brakes and uh, steering components see what the center pin looks like. I'm not sure what the story on this truck is uh, Do know that uh, a Good man bought it in 90 because Arkansas River was flooding uh, And it was on the thread of being washed out and washed away So he saved this along with a couple other v-dubs um, But man that blue is just beautiful it looks great Kind of hesitant because every truck seems to be dove blue, but damn it, it just looks so good. So, uh, with with the bed and stuff and a few trouble spots, thinking about maybe just I, know, I know it sounds bad, but thinking about just filling it and then taping it all off. And I thought about maybe shooting it with some white paint, maybe some black. Um, I mean, hell, it's going to be used. Uh, it's uh, February first today. I have quite a few parts list. I gotta get someone in to uh, weld uh, the front windshield purchase back in. Uh, did not have factory safaris, um, but I'm pretty sure they were dealer installed. And another cat uh, just a few miles up the road got them out for his single cab some years back. So I uh, have a parts list. Uh, 
take a gander inside here. Uh, pretty rough. Sorry to swing you around here, guys. This is the passenger side floor. Yeah, so just going to get a hold of Gerson, contact him, we get a pan ordered. Uh, I guess the good thing about when it's that ratted and rusted through, it's just uh, safety first, but it's easy to get out of there. Easy removal. So, tickle to death, guys. Um, I was born in 90, so 59 is uh, pretty old. I'm privileged, I'm honored the guy sold it to me. This Volkswagen thing has been uh, going on for a couple years now for me. Uh, and uh, I'm just running away with it. It's consuming me. It's a black hole I'm being sucked into. And I mean, hell, I even traded my Jeep uh, Wrangler in for a new uh, GTI, which is a blast. but. Uh, taking the bus today, primer and all. Uh, just because it's fun to hit the slow lane, take a step back and just cruise and uh, quit being in such a damn hurry all the time. People riding everybody's ass and just uh, driving like idiots. Life's too short. Just breathe a minute and uh, enjoy life. Anyhow, 59 single cab, progress. Of course, there's a lot more work that needs to be done paint and uh, paint removal. Uh, Wax it up and stuff to see what we got. But uh, until next time, guys, appreciate your time. Uh, happy cruise and be safe. Always care. Some kind of fire suppressant, fire extinguisher, blaze cut, whatever you have in your vehicle. If it is a daily or even a weekend warrior, um, we don't want these things going up in flames. Uh, take care. Until next time. Peace.